the amphibious capability is a truly joint capability and it is necessary for all three services to both integrate and operate together. Navy obviously brings a whole bunch of force elements, including the ship that we're standing on here, of course, uh, into the amphibious capability. Uh, Army makes up broadly the land force or the embark force element, um, and also the aviation that you would have seen earlier today. And then Air Force is those guys and girls that in very simplistic terms do the air control for us to make sure that we're doing air operations safely. We're inserting onto the beach here at Cowley Beach uh, from the HMS Adelaide and we're here uh, practicing our war, war fighting skills and our humanitarian aid skills. This has been a fantastic opportunity to really get to work with Navy from the ground up, starting at a level where we're all trying to discover new territory together and this has enabled a lot of joint procedures to be developed as well as significantly increased bonds between the two organisations. The capacity of the ship is, is enormous. Um, this one ship, Adelaide, takes the place of three of our old ships in capacity. So we, we can take a thousand people on here, we can take 1,200 troops. The, the whole idea is that we have that ability to, to have a large force and a capable force that can project that power ashore if government so wishes. All the uh, exposure that we've provided to the ship uh, throughout this uh, sea series of activities, uh, the ship's company has shown and demonstrated that they have both the skill and the enthusiasm to rise to those challenges. And I think that's important as the ship moves forward in the amphibious capability roadmap.